Hey, this is Jeff Towson from Peking University. I'm here in Torino, Italy, and the topic of this video is three reasons why new retail is both bigger and cooler than everybody thinks. Back in a sec. So I'm in Torino, Italy, which is fantastic. Uh, sort of northern Italy, right up against the Alps. Beautiful. Um, walking across the river here at the moment. And I was in town just for a couple days to uh, talk to some students at the University of Torino, which has a really compelling China-Italy program. They've got hundreds of students studying this, uh, learning Mandarin, going back and forth, working with companies in Italy about this. So that's a, it's a pretty great program, really fun students. It was, it was a pretty enjoyable day. Okay, so sort of reason number one, new retail is just really cool, is we're going to see a quantum leap, a quantum increase in the number of users and data on the platforms. However, these are ultimately platform businesses. Uh, they don't operate, uh, they don't generally retail. They're platforms that enable different user groups to interact. Uh, maybe it's buyers and sellers selling things, maybe it's people communicating, doing payments, social interactions, uh, but they enable interactions between different user groups. Now, you know, sort of online e-commerce marketplaces, companies like Alibaba, have traditionally had online merchants and consumers, and then maybe content creators if it's Yoku and some advertisers. But what new retail is doing is it's dramatically increasing the number of users on the platform and the data on the platform. Because suddenly, regular convenience stores, regular supermarkets, department stores, all those physical retailers, a lot of them are moving into the platform. Um, and that's a whole new type of user group. It's a whole new type of activity. It's going to enable a lot of interactions, most of which we can't predict yet. So, I mean, what new retail is doing from a platform perspective is just a massive increase in the number of users on the platform, in the ecosystem, and the amount of data there. It's a big, big deal. So this is uh, the main park of Torino, which is really nice. It looks like it was kind of a big party place uh, <laughs> last night. And you can also see over there, there's a guy who, I don't know if he's sleeping or passed out, but he hasn't moved in uh, since I've been watching him. Okay, so point two on why you know this is so cool is uni marketing which is something that was rolled out in about mid-2017. Uh, Alibaba, JD, a lot of them had different versions of this. Uni marketing is, is the term I heard from Alibaba. And basically this is bringing together all the data we see in the platform about consumers. Um, where they are, what they're doing in terms of entertainment, social media, transactions, browsing, all of that, bringing it together, the data, and then creating sort of intelligence tools that businesses, merchants, brands, retailers can start to use um, to engage more effectively. Um, what new products to develop, uh, road testing uh, prototypes, targeting the right people who are most likely uh, to become customers one day with your existing customers engaging more uh, productively, more efficiently, more powerfully. So all of this data and the, the sort of tools that go along with it, this is what businesses are seeing within this new retail uh, platform. So that's kind of the secret engine of all of this. Um, Alibaba Chief Marketing Officer Chris Tung was talking about this as sort of the, you know, the other side of the coin to new retail is really uh, uni marketing. So that's point two. So everybody's basically up now. I got up crazy early. Uh, <laughs> cafes are filling up. I gotta go try and find a good seat. 
Okay, coffee break, which in Italy is awesome because it's everywhere and it's great. Um, thank you. I'm at sort of the main tourist side of uh, Torino. I'll give you a look here. Oh, looks like the police are doing something. All the street vendors are running very quickly that way. There you can see the cops a little bit. They're on bicycles. Um, the street vendors appear to be faster on foot than the cops are on bicycles. Okay, the main tourist attraction, which I almost showed you. I'll give you a look. So third, final point. Who you are on the new retail platform within the ecosystem, depending on who you are, your experience and what this looks like to you is a very different thing. Now, if you're a consumer, we've kind of talked about this. It's pretty amazing. Offline, online, integrated, one seamless experience by which we buy services, products, entertainment, all sort of in one experience. That's all gonna get dramatically better. It's really pretty cool. But let's say content creators, which is a user group on these platforms. Making a video, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a content creator. I could put this up on Yoku and, and be on the platform. Now for groups like us, you know, we're starting to see the integration of entertainment and commerce. And this is something Alibaba talked a lot about at Singles Day last year. You know, we can start to monetize this in various ways. I could be doing product placements. I could be doing ads, gifting. Uh, we could be having sort of social commerce where social media is integrating. So a lot of these separate silos are coming together on this platform. So content creators, that's another user group. Advertisers, another user group. Application developers that would maybe sit on top of this, another user group. But the one that's probably the most interesting is for brands and merchants and retailers because for them the world is completely changing in many ways. There's a lot of good stuff. They're getting data they've never seen before. Your typical retailer doesn't know what you do the second you leave the store. Now they're getting information from all aspects of life and can start to curate their products and the experience. Flip side, a lot of the traditional rules of retailing, merchants, brands, they're being changed dramatically. If you are based on location, 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 get the good spot in the mall, traffic, people walk by, they come in, well that may change significantly because where people go may depend on what they're doing on their phones and maybe they're getting directed to places and maybe they don't have to go to the mall anymore, maybe they just, the, the mall comes to them and it delivers and they pick up. So that, you know, that sort of rules are changing. And then of course the biggest question for all of these groups on this side is what impact does this have on your brand? Are you still Prada if people don't have to come into your super nice store with the fantastic salespeople and the, and the beautiful experience? Or how do you still be a luxury brand? Uh, how can you be Zara where people come in and they see lots of different types of stuff that's all relatively new, fast fashion? Uh, is that the same on a smartphone as it is in a major store in a mall? So a lot of the brand questions are pretty important and I think that's probably the biggest worry I hear from various companies. Anyways, but that's sort of my third point. Within re new retail, what the experience is really depends on what side of the platform you're sitting on and it's gonna be fun to watch this. And that's basically my take. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I'm about done here in Torino. I'm off to Paris in a couple hours and then I'm going to try and sneak away down to the south of Italy for a couple days. Uh, last look behind me, this is Valentino Castle here in the city, right on the water. It's pretty amazing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is Jeff from Peking University.